for the last few weeks, it's felt like managing expectations. Is this a real breakthrough that maybe a circuit breaker at the G20 is still possible? You're definitely right, Heidi. It's certainly very interesting on a headline basis. It's a positive comment from Mr. Trump. Remember, he remarked somewhat positively in the Fox News interview earlier this week as well. It would seem, uh, from the outside at least, as though he's warming up to some kind of of at least laying the groundwork for an agreement. But there are a few things we need to remember here. This was a, a scheduled call. Uh, we also had some reality check remarks from Mr. Kudlow, his economic advisor overnight, who said, look, ultimately, there's going to have to be a, a deal done on the tough areas around intellectual uh, property protection uh, and, and the forced sharing of technology and the like. And of course, we also know that um, this goes well beyond an issue over a goods deficit. I don't think anybody realistically thinks that uh, a deal on the kind of structural concerns the US has can be really and truly fully developed, thought through and nailed in time for the uh, G20 later this month. So clearly, Heidi, what I would say is it's, it's, it's positive mood music. It perhaps does indicate that talks are starting to move into a better space than they have been. But I think most people would say that we probably still remain some way from a deal on the broader trade structural concerns that the US has. Yeah, because at the same time, you have uh, the DOJ also indicting people, uh, the Chinese uh, state-owned companies in terms of intellectual property theft. So even if you have uh, the top leaders of both nations uh, trying to show a friendly face, what happens when everywhere else around the U.S. you have more tightening of, of, uh, or more tensions against China? Well, this is the uh, critical issue. I mean, clearly on the U.S. side of things, the political debate has shifted. There seems to be a, an increased skepticism or wariness towards China and U.S. relations with China, like you say, that seems to cross the party aisles. And, of course, they have elections there next week, which could be an important uh, water, watermark moment in terms of the China-U.S. story. But nonetheless, sherry -Ann, if President Xi and Trump were to agree an outline framework uh, on the trade story, or at least move towards more uh, focused uh, negotiations, that would equally set the tone for things. That would mean China's coming to the table uh, in good faith, and the U.S. would, likely ha would likewise have to reciprocate that and accept their gestures in good faith. So it seems as though there's a window for some kind of at least a negotiated truce here. But, but as I said, though, with caution, uh, a lot of observers would say that the issues at hand and the issues at stake in this, in this dispute won't be easily resolved.